makeup. It's always been my way of expressing myself. I've been wearing it on a daily basis since fifth grade. But when I wore makeup to elementary school, I was always bullied for who I was. However, I always knew that I had to stay true to myself. My long-term goals channel self-love, self-expression, and self-discovery, and pay it forward. I grew up in Florida as your typical theater kid. My heartfelt obsession for acting soon turned into a newfound passion for makeup. I felt a surge of confidence when getting ready for a show. With each swipe of the mascara wand, I felt more radiant and more self-assured and more alive. I realized that what I loved most about the theater and about acting was actually the art of transformation. When I put on makeup, being bullied for who I was just didn't matter anymore. Makeup was a part of me and I knew I had to stay true to myself. So I was the only boy in school who wore makeup, but social media connected me to kids who, like me, were also unconventionally interested in cosmetics at such a young age. So, Globally, there are a lot of people who want to wear makeup in such a natural and functional way, but boys like me, we really didn't want to change the way we looked. We just wanted to cover up our blemishes, which really drained our self-confidence. And so in 2015, I began attempting to make cosmetics in my kitchen, and I would steal my mom's bronzers and lipsticks to develop the perfect shade ranges and textures. And at the end of the day, I became fixated on developing a beauty line for everyone, regardless of race, age, sexual orientation, or gender. My search for professional grade, transfer proof, and gender fluid beauty, it began in 2017. But to my surprise, none existed. I felt an urgency to passionately formulate what was missing and to unveil a new sector of the market. So, as a professional makeup hoarder and Generation Z consumer, I was frustrated at the rise in spending by my generation, only to realize that there were no brands who catered to me. Boys in beauty were completely lacking representation in the cosmetic industry, and I knew that I had to do something about it. So I didn't really have the qualifications or family connections to venture out into this industry, so I reached out to my friends in theater who had a little bit more experience in the beauty world than I did. I learned the importance of finding a great chemist along with a great manufacturer who really had the same standards as me. I researched my options, and at the end of the day, I found the best partners for my brand. At the tender age of 15, after two years of perfecting the formula, I launched Formula Z Cosmetics, and this is a unisexy makeup brand that is totally transforming the beauty industry from the ground up. So I guess you could say in today's cultural revolution, we live in a society that's spearheaded by young people who believe in fighting for what's right. I'm hands on with every single aspect of the brand, including formulation, product photography, design, packaging, etc. And my motivation is to show people that it's totally okay to be yourself, and that individuality is not only powerful, but also empowering. It's also possible to paint your gender-neutral dreams into reality at 15. Through an organized product pitch, I was soon noticed by the CEO of Bloomingdale's and Macy's. My sales continued to expand, and soon, the media noticed me. But for me, I knew that it was more than just makeup. It was movement. I knew that any great brand had to give people permission to be themselves. And for starters, my parents, Jim and Tara, have supported me through my own challenges. And things have not always been easy, but ultimately, they've embraced their own journey of understanding and openness. And their love has honestly filled my passion. They are 100% my heroes because they accept who I am. And from the start, Putting finger paint on my face from the age of five just because it wasn't my parents' norm doesn't mean that it wasn't mine. And to all the parents in the audience tonight, I'm not asking you to change your viewpoints. I'm just simply asking you to interpret someone else's. And wearing makeup, acting a part, and transforming myself totally became a part of who I was. And there were plenty of people who loved me just the way I am, but 
there are also plenty of people who are less than supportive. So when things did get rough for me at one point, I ended up facing reality. I learned about the high rates of depression and suicide amongst gay youth, and in search of the resources that I desperately needed, I discovered the Trevor Project, and this is actually the first time the Trevor Project has partnered with the brand led by an LGBT teen, and this is someone who in some ways is not unlike the people they support. So from the start, I was totally driven to work with an initiative that supports people like me. And if you don't already know, the Trevor Project, they're the leading national organization that provides crisis intervention and suicide prevention to LGBTQ youth. And this is my everlasting commitment to support and protect LGBTQ youth worldwide. And for every Mission Z that I sell, I donate 50% of net proceeds back to their life-saving work. And Formula Z is my platform as an equality advocate, speaking for those who can, and specifically for other LGBTQ youth out there and other LGBTQ youth around the world. When it was time for me to join the American Heritage Gay Straight Alliance, it was a huge help for me. And I was able to get to talk with others who were experiencing the same things that I did. And I felt really grateful because it was my job to make sure that no one felt alone. So when it was my turn, I was happy to step up as the GSA co-president. And we're really lucky here in Broward County that every single school has a gay straight alliance. But in most of Florida, that's, that's actually not the case. I want everyone to know that you're never too old or too young to set your dreams into fruition. I believe that as a human being, we have the potential to find our light. You can't spell heart without art. You have to put power in life where your heart is. Not only because your problem may lead to innovation, but also because general workplace happiness benefits, benefits everyone. Research shows that passionate employees are up to 20% more productive than unhappy employees. So find your light. Maybe it's a figurative light or a spiritual light or maybe a literal light. But I know when I want to be heard, I wear lipstick. I love what I do and I get to do it every day. And if you don't do something every day that makes you happy, then you might as well just regret it. So to me, one of the most important things in life is to embrace happiness and passion throughout the workplace. I came across the Passion Pyramid online a couple of years ago and I really admire the diagram for its simplicity, the way it connects a number of leadership issues into one simple diagram, and it really draws on our appreciation a number of elements that feed into quality team culture. It's the trick to meeting employee needs and perfecting our leadership skills. It might seem obvious, but to me, the pyramid sets out five key components of leadership that require specific attention and are actually directly linked to creating a space where team members can feel passionate about the work they do and the work that others do. This not only encourages more self-motivation to not only the people of the work itself, but also encourages the team of people you work with as well. The biggest thing to take back from this is that you should feel a sense of connection with each other and your own work. No matter who you are, everyone's goal is to achieve meaningful and purposeful work that is aligned with our own core values. These five core values are set up on the passion pyramid. We have meaningful work, commitment, values, engagement, purpose, and in visualizing inclusivity into the workplace. Employees should honestly feel emotionally involved they should feel like they're an insider and they should get to be treated with respect and employees should learn and grow to pay it forward. They should give back, include coaching and counseling and mentoring because at the end of the day, that equals more skillful employees. At the end, you wanna be respected. This is the basic level of employee engagement. People skills that start to build trust equals high performance. You wanna surround yourself with A plus people, friends in the workplace. You know, I figured if Bill Gates, Robert Iger, and Elon Musk fuel businesses based upon passion, then they must be doing something, right? So I put the five passion pillars to use, and by 2017, 
I ignited a brand centered around my purpose, creativity, individuality, and passion. I thought I knew who I was, but when I discovered myself, it was a dream come true. I created a unisexy makeup line that was for everyone, regardless of race, age, or gender, no matter your skin tone, and it's a constant commitment to support and protect my community. I want others to know that it's okay to step out of your comfort zone. It's okay to be who you are, and it's okay to believe what you believe in. And for you, if wearing makeup gets you there, then Formula Z can totally help. But no matter who you are, where you live, how you look, or what you believe in, I want you to know that you have the right to equality and that you have the right to dignity. Case in point, Pursue your dreams because you can do it. In just two years, I can finally say I'm making my mark in the beauty industry, but I'm just getting started. I've decided to use my voice, my company, and my platform to inspire others to stay true to who they are, to step out of their comfort zone, and to be unconditionally accepting. And remember, if you want to be heard, wear lipstick. Thank you.